Hello, I'm Barkley Roper with Tiger Capital Management, a registered investment advisor here in the state of Idaho, bringing you your weekly trend update and helping you stay on the right side of the market. As you can tell, the look is a little bit different this week because my video production manager is on vacation for Thanksgiving. Therefore, we are providing an alternate version this week so you won't miss out on any important information. I've extracted two quotes from Mabain Faber's book, The Ivy Portfolio. The first is from Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha, as he talks about self-control being more important than a superior IQ when he says the following, investing is not a game where the guy with the 160 IQ beats the guy with the 130 IQ. Once you have ordinary intelligence, what you need is the temperament to control the urges that get other people into trouble in investing. Close quote. The second comes from Charles Ellis, Yale Investment Committee Chairman, as he talks about why they are one of the top-ranked endowments in the country in regards to portfolio returns. He says, this extraordinary achievement quite naturally attracts, attracts all the attention, yet close observers can say that the real secret to Yale's remarkable success is defense, defense, defense. But how, you might ask, can defense be so important to Yale's remarkably positive results? Starting with the great truism of long-term success in investing, if investors could just eliminate their larger losses, the good results would take care of themselves. We remind ourselves of the great advantages of staying out of trouble. Close quote. So how do we play defense? By making sure that we're on the right side of the market. So let's look at our long-term trends for today, starting with U.S. stocks represented by the S&P 500. We can see that price is above the 50-day moving average represented by the red line. Price is also above the 200-day moving average represented by the blue line. So we're in a confirmed uptrend with U.S. stocks. Foreign stocks, we can see that price is right above the 50-day moving average represented by the red line and well above the 200-day moving average represented by the blue line. So we're in a confirmed uptrend in foreign stocks. Real estate investment trusts, we can see that um, we have this area, this horizontal red line representing support, although price is below the 50-day moving average and also below the 200-day moving average represented by the blue line. Um, it hasn't broken through that support area that we've been using for the last few months, so we're still in a confirmed uptrend with real estate investment trusts. Commodities, we can see that price is still below the 50-day the moving average represented by the red line and also below the 200-day moving average represented by the blue line. So we're in a confirmed downtrend with commodities. Bonds, we can see that uh, bond prices are right at the 50-day moving average, but also still below the 200-day moving average represented by the blue line. And so we're in a confirmed downtrend with bonds. Let's go ahead and look at that one more time. U.S. stocks are in a confirmed uptrend. Foreign stocks are in a confirmed uptrend. Real estate investment trusts are in a confirmed uptrend. Commodities are in a confirmed downtrend. And bonds are in a confirmed downtrend. So that wraps it up for today. And in the spirit of Thanksgiving, as we reflect on those things we are thankful for, remember the advice of David A. Bednar. A grateful person is rich in contentment. An ungrateful person suffers in the poverty of endless discontentment. I'm Barkley Roper with Tiger Capital Management, bringing you your weekly trend update and helping you stay on the right side of the market. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to call or email me. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday, and we'll see you next week.